Keir genuinely has come from a regular background, living in a, a three-bedroom, semi-attached, pebble-dashed house. Um, and his dad was a toolmaker and his mother was a nurse. He came from the kind of household that millions of people in our country live in. When I first introduced him to my mum in probably 1983, I said, Mum, this is Keir, he's a future Labour Prime Minister. And I literally said that as a joke, uh, both to him and to her. But obviously it was actually a prophecy and I was Nostradamus. So Keir and I met um, quite a long time ago now in our first week of our first term at Leeds University. He was fairly much like he is now. He honestly hasn't changed in all this time. He still likes the same things. Uh, he still plays football regularly. He still watches football regularly. He goes to the football with the same friends that he's had for years. I lived with him in London when he became a junior barrister and he would always go the extra mile for his, for his work. Um, really committed, uh, would prepare meticulously as he still does. He was um, a person that people were drawn to I'd say, you know, he was always a kind of a natural leader. Family's always been very important to Keir, ever since his childhood, really, ever since I knew him, his mum was ill. He really um, felt her illness strongly and he was always there for her and supportive. His dad was great, his dad really looked after his mum too. It was very sad when, when his mum passed, actually. What you don't perhaps see much of him on the TV is that he was, you know, a good laugh. He was a very good friend. He chose to enter politics to make a difference, which is what he's always wanted to do with his time and his life and his talents. He is not motivated by money or power or any of the things that I think alarm us about our politicians. He is literally motivated by doing the right thing um, for the party and his country. And I think we can't ask for any more than that. I think that's what we really need.